Good evening, dear ladies. Chodesh Tov Mevorach, Bezrat Hashem. Now we have two days of Rosh Chodesh. It's tonight, it's tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Besiyat Adishma. And today we had the eclipse, Baruch Hashem. So we have a lot of things exciting. <laughs> Baruch Hashem. So I would like to tell you, shh. And to bless everybody, she'd get a machine, it can be Rabbi Amen or Amen. She'd get a mevaser, Eliyahu, and Eliyahu, and she'd be a good lady, be Mariah, Volen, and Mishach David, Eliyahu, and Mishachula. Tom, that we will all have the merit to see the building of the third temple, Bezrat Hashem. And we will all have the merit to go to the land of Israel on the wings of eagle. And we will all have the merit to have a part in the land of Israel, Bezrat Hashem. Chelek benachala besiyat adishma. So, but me, from tomorrow... With all of our belongings. Amen. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the belongings. It will be okay. Hashem will build new belongings. So, dear ladies, I would like to remind, because last lesson we spoke about all of the minhagim of the month of Elul. In general, I will remind you from Wednesday... Not tomorrow, but from Wednesday, Bezrat Hashem morning, we start to say every day twice, chapter 27 in Tehillim. I'm reminding you. And the women that didn't, don't have this from last lesson, I will spread it around. I don't know my recipe. Okay, please spread it around. I and text uh, every day, Bezrat Hashem Blinen. Ine, please spread it around. And I'm reminding you that in the whole world, Jewish okay. people start to read the whole, each one reads the whole, the whole book of Tehillim from the first day of the month of Elul until after Yom Kippurim, including Yom Kippurim. So please have a paper in your hand. Everybody has one, one the ones that don't, didn't have it, weren't here last time. You have one? Okay. Please spread it out. Every day from Wednesday morning, we read, in addition to all of the Tehillim that we read, three chapters of Tehillim. We start on Wednesday, chapter 1 to 3, and then Thursday, chapter 4 to 6. And we continue like this until before Yom Kippurim. Every day, only three chapters. Uh, during the day, no, two times a day, is chapter 27. It's not this. This is addition. So during the day, not at night, during the day, Bezrat Hashem. Which one is better to do chapter 27? Split or one after the other? If you don't daven mincha ve'arvit, you can do it one after the other. It's not important. And if not, then in the morning and mincha. Because in the morning, in the morning, we say it in the morning. Breakfast and lunch. Yes. So dear ladies, shh. Madlena, everybody, please pay attention for the ones who weren't here. So every day, three chapters from Wednesday morning, because today, Nachon is Rosh Chodesh, now it's Rosh Chodesh, but it's the 30th of the month of Av. But Wednesday, which means tomorrow night, is already the first day of the month of Elul. So we start on the first day of the month of Elul. Before Yom Kippurim, until Yom Kippurim, it's only three chapters every day, addition to everything that we do. And then before Yom Kippurim, before Kol Nidrei, when we gather in the shul, we say 115 to 123. Before we go to bed on Yom Kippurim, which this year, Yom Kippurim is Shabbat, this coming year. So before bedtime, we read 124 to 132. After Musaf, Shel Yom Kippurim, the Shacharit, and after Musaf, we read 133 to 141. And after Neila, we heard, it's Neila, we heard the Shofar, we read 142 to 150. And this, each one does, so together, each one finishes a whole book of Tehillim, but with Klal Israel, because each one of us does the same thing. So it's a big thing. Now, if one day we couldn't, we missed, so the next day, read six chapters, to, the missing chapters for the day before, say that this is a Shlama, that you are completing what you missed a day before, and continue with Klal Israel. Okay. But this day, but with this, we, all of us, Besiyat Adishmei, read a whole book of Tehillim. Chazak uvaruch. Another thing, I'm reminding you to check the mezuzot, to check the tefillin besiyat adishmaya. How often will we have to check? Once, once in a half a year, it's good to check. 
so which means that you can make a, you can do it in one year, but it's good also once in half a year. So to mer- before the Rosh Hashanah and also before Pesach. To just to, because, you know, with the rains and the snow and everything right. can damage the letters inside. And mezuzot is important because if some of the letters... If the letters are, dear ladies, are wiped, we have death. You see, mezuzah is death. So mezuzah prevents death. The mezuzah prevents death. It, it protects us. Why? Because the name of Hashem is Shomer, Daltot, Yisrael. And this is the name of the mezuzah. He who keeps the children of Israel safe. A mezuzah is a very important thing. It's, that's why it's very important to kiss the mezuzah. When we go out of the house, when we come into the house. It's very important when you go out of the house to put charity. So I... I, I have at home, and I wish everybody will have the same thing. I have kupat tzedakah, and I already told you here, I take a cup, and I put coins inside. And everybody that goes out of the house to school or anywhere else, they put charity. Before they go, they kiss the mezuzah, and they go out of the house. When they come back, they kiss the mezuzah and put a coin again. Then I count the coins. I, I put them back, the coins, and I give, you know, a shtar. A bill instead of them, in order that we'll have always coins to put in the charity. To, to charity. It's very important. Mm-hmm. Charity saves from death. That's why Hashem says, bring machatzit a shekel. Only half of a shekel. You remember we bring machatzit a shekel? Why half and not, and not 60th and not the 10th and not third of a shekel? Only ha- why half? Because half means that we complete each other. But furthermore, more than completing each other, Hashem gives us an, a hint because machatzit half, this is how it's written in Hebrew. The tzaddik, it's daka, you see? Charity. This is the tzaddik. But around it, we have, if we give charity, we, Hashem gives us life, chai. You see chai? Life. And takes away death. Any judgment that we had, met, lo'alenu, takes away death, charity. Why? Because when we sleep, it's one sixtieth of death. So the soul goes up to give judgment over everything that we did. But we don't know what was determined, decided about the soul when it came back to the body. So we don't ha- know if we have judgments that day or something has shalom should happen. But if we put our hand in charity and we put a coin... We give charity, dear ladies, then Basiata Dishma Hashem brings chai and takes away death. You see? So Basiata Dishma Banote Karot, please put charity. And we are speaking about charity. So tomorrow we have two days of Osh Chodesh. Tomorrow morning and also Wednesday morning. Two days that we have the opportunity to visualize and to concentrate on the, on the combination of the name of Yud Kei Vav Kei, the name of mercy of Hashem, to the month of Elul. And the Arizal says, the combination comes from the Pasuk in Chumash Dvarim, and, and charity will be ours because the end of the letters is the name, the right combination for the name of Hashem for the month of Elul. I can, I'm wiping this so I can write it down here. So, dear ladies, look. It's, I'm writing kuf, but it's hey, but I, otherwise I can't wipe the board. It's kuf, kuf, vav, yud. And the name of tshuva of Hashem is kuf, kuf, eh, yud, aleph. Shav, where do we concentrate with the name of Hashem? We concentrate on... Musaf shel Rosh Chodesh. And when do we have Musaf? Is that just like we have on Shabbat? On Rosh Chodesh we do. We say Tfilat Shemona Esrei. After that we say Hallel. And after the Hallel we read from the Torah. After we read from the Torah we say Tfilat Shemona Esrei. In the middle of the Tfilat Shemona Esrei, which is already Musaf, it's written Baruch Ata Hashem. Mekadesh. Yisrael v'rashei chodashim. Bless you, Hashem, who sanctifies the children of Israel on the first days of the month. It's in the middle of Musaf, 
that Tfilat Shemona Esrei, that we say after reading the Torah. Over there we come, Baruch Hashem, we stop here, just visualize, just see the letters. We don't say the letters, we just look at them. We don't look at Kuf Kamuvan, we look at Hey. So we look at the letters, just look at it and continue. Mekadesh Yisrael v'Rashei Chadashim. Shav, why? Because the Arizal said, why do the children of Israel daven and their davening is not answered? Daven means to pray. Why do they pray and the prayers are not answered? So the Arizal says because they don't know how to concentrate on the right name of Hashem. So David HaMelech says, Ki bi chashak v'apaltehu asagveu ki adashmi. Ikraeni v'aino. David King David says in chapter 91 in Tehillim that I will help him because he knew my name. He's calling me and he knew my name. He knew the right combination of my name for the month. So the Arizal gave all of the 12 verses, Psukim, from the Torah, that, they are, that either the initials or the end letters are the combination of the, of the name of Hashem of mercy for each month. So we just visualize this. By doing this, we open a tube of prosperity to us our children, Kalal Yisrael, and the whole world benefits from this. Because the whole, Hashem created the world for the children of Israel that will study Torah. And if we, chas v'shalom, if, if it will come that nobody studies Torah or doesn't keep Shabbat, the whole world goes back to chaos. If the nations would have known this, they would have seen that all of the children of Israel will be in the land of Israel and will be practicing all the commandments and doing what Hashem wants them to do. Because it's in the benefit of the nations. So I, this I already gave last lesson just for the ones that didn't know. Tomorrow and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday we do this. Now Be'ezrat Hashem. I would like to speak, to ask your questions, a question. You know, I heard a, one rabbi in Israel, he, he asked, who knows what is, a, what is the harshest sin that a person can do? The Shonara. Who knows? Continue. What do you think? Which sin is the achikashe? The hardest sin that Hashem, that Hashem is very angry with the person that doesn't do it, that does this sin. Cast. Ma? Cast. Cast. Adultery. Adultery. No, no. Nobody said it's Shabbat. Tzniut. Yafeh. Motzi Shem Ra. Diba. Lashon Ra. Otsa Diba. Bezat, which means slandering, it's, it's, it, it, making a bad name to a person, Bezat Hashem, uh, adultery. What, what do you think more? Avodah Zarah. Avodah Zarah, worshipping other idols. To go against Hashem. To go against Hashem. Like to deny Hashem. You know Hashem. Dear ladies, I have to tell you something. The Zohar Kadosh says, the greatest sin of all is a person who doesn't do tshuva. Lo alasot tshuva. This is the greatest sin of all. We came to this world to do tshuva, to fix. The greatest sin of all is not to do tshuva. To be in denial. Even, yes, even, even, even if we didn't keep Shabbat, we'll do tshuva, we'll keep Shabbat. Even if a person did adultery, but he will do tshuva, he will become, uh, uh, the rabbits will show him a way how to do tshuva bezat Hashem and to be good again. Even if a person says, Leshon hara, dishmaya, he will go to a rabbi and the rabbi will show him the right way how to repent over it. But living in this world and not doing tshuva and not understanding that this is why you came to this world, to know Hashem and to do tshuva and to do His will, this is the harshest sin. Where does it come from, dear ladies? When a person comes to this world, he already studied the Torah. In the womb of his mother, he studied the whole Torah. He knows Hashem gave him the knowledge. Before he comes to this world, the angel Laila takes the soul and goes to paradise and shows the soul what happens in paradise to all of the righteous people and how they benefit by following the ways of Hashem. Then it goes with the soul to hell. 
and it shows her what happens in hell to the wicked people that didn't listen to Hashem. And then after all of this tour, Hashem decides if this soul will be tall, short, slim, full, wise, less wise, beautiful, less beautiful, everything except for righteous or wicked. And they tell the soul, be righteous, be righteous, be righteous. Two angels teach her the Torah. When the soul comes out, they give her a flip so it forgets everything. Her job is to know why, she, why we came to this world. We are only visitors. You know, sometimes people have an illusion that this is the world. That's it. This is what you have. You have to gain power and money. And even if you walk on people and do bad things to people, it doesn't matter. It's just to get up to the, to the top, to be, for example, there was a father with, with, there was a father with two children. So the, there was a young child. He had two sons, a younger child and, a, and an adult. Both of them were at, at, a, um, at a certain height. One, the younger child was taller than the older child. So the older child was so angry that he was taller than him. What did he do? He dig a hole in the ground and he put him over there. And then he stood like this next to, next to his brother and he said, you see, now I'm tall. <laughs> I'm the tallest. So dear ladies, Instead of making a, a step for himself, and him standing on the step, he, had, he digged a hole for his brother and put him down. Dear ladies, we can do this in life too. For example, if a person wants to, be the, uh, to have a, a, a beautiful home and yeah. other people, person if, if a person wants to have a beautiful home and other people have mansions next to him, he can go with a truck and ruin all of the mansions around him. And then he will build himself a mansion and he will say, this is the beautiful mansion in the whole place because I ruined everything. Mm. So dear ladies, oh, he can build a beautiful mansion that will be more beautiful than the other mansions in the area. This is characteristics of human beings. And it's today it's more people practice it today. Instead of being happy for another person, they have to ruin his life to put him down in order that they will be accepted and they will be successful more than him. This is what happens today. Zenikasha, Adam Losa Tshuva. People, this is a call, call that we don't know how to do Tshuva. We don't know our place in this world, dear ladies. So let's go to this Parashai Shoftim. And please go to TorahAnytime.com or RabbanitIrs.com or the YouTube to see for uh, Parashat Shoftim Besiyat Adishma. But it says, Judges, Shoftim Beshotrim Titen Lecha, judges and, so, and um, policemen you should put for yourself. Bechol Sharecha Asher Hashem Elokecha Noten Lach. You should put in all of your gates that Hashem gave you. Hashem, your God, gave you. Judges and pay attention. And policemen, titen lach, po. First, give to yourself. What does it mean? Judge yourself. Don't, don't shalom, judge others. See, if you need to, first say, I need to do tshuva. Perach me'apet atzmo me'apet agan. I need to do tshuva, and then besiyat adishmaya, I can guide others to do tshuva. Kinei doresh nei mekayem. If you, if you preach to somebody to do tshuva, to repent to Hashem, first you have to be example in order that he will get it from you and we will accept it and he will do because you, you are an example to that person. So, nae doresh nae mekayem. Which are the shoftim veshotrim? Who are the judges and the policemen? It says, Besefer Yetzirah, that is considered, the book of creation that is considered to Avraham Avinu, it says over there, it's all over the face. It's the two eyes, two nostrils, the mouth, the ladies, the two ears. So we have everything you see, if you pay attention, everything is two, two ears, two eyes, two nostrils, but the mouth is one. This is seven gates that we have over here. And this is parallel to the seven gates over here. Because what we have in our head by the count of the Kabbalah is things that we can't touch them. But over here, these are, are the tools of action. All, all the tools of action. This is the part of the body that is tools of action. So the eyes, dear ladies, in order that we won't have videos that will damage us, we shouldn't look at things that we shouldn't look. 
that Hashem said, don't look at them. So we have the eyes, you see the cover of the eyes in order not to see. Then the ears, we shouldn't listen to slandering, Lashonara. So we close our ears. That's why Ketuv Madu'a Ozen Kasha Ba'al Yaraka. Why is the ear hard, but this part is very soft in order to close, so you won't listen to Lashonara. And the nostrils, dear ladies, is in order that we won't smell smell that is not good because who enjoys the smell? The soul enjoys. This is the only thing that the, the, that the soul enjoys is the smell, so we can close the nostrils. But mouth, we don't have two. We have one. Instead, we have two gates for the mouth. Wow. Everything, we have one gate. But for the mouth, we have two. <laughs> dear, la dear ladies, the whole fixing starts with this. Because even if a person does not believe, chas shalom, that there's a God in the world, before he took it out of his mouth, he still has thoughts. Once he said it out of his mouth, the ear is the best microphone in the world. All of the organs listened, and now he believes in what he thought. That once we take something out of our mouth, we be, oh, the whole body is engaged with it. It becomes part of us. So it's very hard to knock over there and to take the shell off because the whole body, all, all of the organs now become part of it. All the blood that flows through the body, everything becomes as one. So, dear ladies, we need now in the month of Elul, and you should know that always Shoftim, Parashat Shoftim, the, the portion of Judges is always, always read in the month of Elul. We should remember, we should do Cheshbon, because when a person, when a soul goes out of the body, first thing, she's astonished, she doesn't believe what's going on, she doesn't even know that she's dead, that, that the separation. It looks at the body, a shock, because the, per, the soul doesn't understand. I'm not inside, I'm already outside. But then I want you to know that inside the grave, Lo'alenu, the angels come and they get even with all of the parts of the body that we sinned. It starts with the, the, the part that we sin most. Usually it's the mouth. Then the worm starts with the mouth. Because usually it's slandering, it's the peh. But then every riya shaloneda, every sight that we saw that we were not allowed to see, that Hashem said don't because you have a holy soul inside. Don't look, there are sights you shouldn't look. So you'll say, but if I accidentally looked, okay, the first sight is only a test. The second sight is after the heart already desired and you look, okay, and you look again. Always the first sight is only a test. So the eyes should be holy because you remember that the eyes is the name of Hashem. The eyes, dear women, is the name of Hashem because Ayn in Hebrew is I. Ayn in numerical value is 70, Yud is Esel 10, and Nun is 50. Together it's 130. Multiplied by two because it's two eyes, 260. Ten times the name of Hashem. 26, it's the name of Hashem of mercy. It's ten times the name of Hashem of mercy. So everything starts, livriut, emet. Everything starts with the eye, with the sight. Then, dear ladies, the ear. We should go, if we sit with among groups that speak or slander, or speak Lashonara, please don't sit over there. And if you can, just tell them to stop. And if they can, that you were in a lesson and you learned, that if you listen to Lashon Ara, all of your mitzvot go to the person that you spoke about. Three, I'm reminding you only, three people die from Lashon Ara, from slandering. The one that said, the one that heard, and the one that was spoken. The one that, that was spoken about, he's only over here, he's, there's a prejudice on him because people heard things on him. So it may, chas shalom, cause him damages in parnasa, in income, or in shiduchim, in getting married, and other things. But he gains all of the mitzvot, all of the good deeds of these people, the one that spoke and the one that heard, he gets all of the mitzvot in his book. All of his sins go to their books. But who is punished more? The one that listened. Not the one that spoke. Why, the, why is the one that listened? Because the one that listened should have stopped the one that spoke in order that he will not sin. But because he listened, the one, how does the Lashon Ara start? 
It starts people come to you and just say, did you hear about this and this? Do you know this and this? This is how it starts. So if the person stops and said, I just davened to heal him, I just said, please, I don't want to hear about anybody. If, any, if somebody needs help, I will, I'm willing to hear, but not more than that. I don't want to hear about anyone. So dear ladies, if he doesn't stop him, the one that listened is punished more than the others. So the, this is the ears. Now we see two gates of the mouth, nahon. We have the gate of flesh and the gate of bones. Uh, the, uh, the teeth itself. So dear ladies, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, uh, it says about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's Chodot HaGanelun that he said, Hashem, you should have made two mouths to a person. <laughs> Just think about it, one here and one here. <laughs> one to, uh, for his livelihood, to ask for food and things, not to Shonara, slandering. And one just for holiness, to speak Torah. Bad Baruch Hashem, Hashem decided to make only one mouth. We cannot control one mouth. To think about two mouths or what would happen? Hashem, chalavi v'sari, yishar kol. Tzarim gam echad par ve'er. And one par. So dear ladies, so dear ladies, one mouth we cannot control. Hashem said to the tongue, I tied you over here not to hit people. And if you weren't tied over here, you would have gone out and just hit people in the streets. <laughs> so, dear ladies, Vesiata Dishmaya, the mouth is only for our livelihood and holy things to speak about. And always find the merit of everybody else because Bamidasha Adam Moded Modedin Lo, which means the way you judge others, this is the way Hashem judges you. And we are before the big judgment day. And this is the time to repent. Don't wait until Yom HaKippurim. Or Rosh Hashanah to ask forgiveness from other people that you hurt or were hurt by, by you and you don't, they don't, you don't even know why they don't speak with you. Go to them. Buy them as a, a sweet thing. Say sorry. I don't know what happened. But if I ca caused you any sorrow, please forgive me. And they need to tell you, machul lachem, machul lachem, machul lachem, three times in order that it will be away. And if a person doesn't forgive you, please, you, you take a messenger that you know that he will listen to him. And he goes three times to him to ask for forgiveness. And if he still doesn't forgive, it's his problem. If with Hashem, you don't have any problem anymore. This is very important, dear ladies, to do now. This is tshuva, doing tshuva. Shav, dear ladies. I would like to, to go to Parashat Re'esh. It's written in Parashat Re'esh. Look, I'm giving in front of you today. Today means today, now, present tense. Blessing or curse, Lo'alenu. Et abracha, the blessing. Asher tishmeu el mitzvot Hashem elokechem. The blessing, Asher Anochim Etzavet Chem Hayom. Hayom, look, today, again. The blessing, if you will listen to the, all of the commandments, that Hashem, your God, is commanding you to do today. Just pay attention. It's, it's not, Moshe Rabbein is writing it, and he's not speaking about the past. But he's speaking today, which means it's relevant to each and every one of us every day, today. Because every day is a new reality. Every day is a white sheet. Every day we can do tshuva. If Hashem gave us life and woke us in the morning, this is the day for tshuva. Every day. Nobody knows when we are going out of the world. You know, next to us at, uh, in Brooklyn, E73, e shh. But not East 73rd, a week ago, on, my, on Sunday night, a young boy that was also a soldier in Tzvagan Anisal in the Israeli army, and he was in Gaza, and he was alive when he went out of Gaza. He came over here, and lo alenu, a neighbor at 11 o'clock, I think, at night, there was a fight over there over parking. And, and the person stabbed him and killed him, stabbed him in the heart. He killed, died that moment. A very young boy, 23 years old. I, what I want to tell you is, 
קודם כל, all of this is לעילוי נשמת ובסייעת נשמעי עומרי בן שלמה ושרה עליו השלום, תהיינו שמתו צורה בצורה החיים. This boy was in the army and he was saved. You know, they went into tunnels. You know how many died over there? Into tunnels they went, Shiyu Brima, our soldiers, where the Arabs built tunnels in order to go into the cities of the, of the, land, of, uh, the state of Israel in order to kill civilians and children. So, dear ladies, what I want to say, nobody knows when he's going out of this world. Every day is a day of tshuva. When we go out of the world as women, Hashem will ask us, were you modest? What will we answer him? Uh, what will say? Well, I went with a shirt up till here. I went with a, a, a tank, top. tank top. And what will he tell Hashem? Hashem will say, but I told you to be righteous. And, I, and, you can, and you'll tell Hashem, okay, I didn't have time. He said, you know how in the path that you're walking through, you know how many times I gave you ways out of the path to do tshuva? I send you to a Torah lesson, that you will listen to be modest, close yourself. You're the, you, you belong to your husband. All of the beauty of a woman is for a husband in a home, not for the other men to look at her. And I'm reminding you, a woman that walks in the street with a beautiful shaitel and very, and very tight things, dear ladies, and the man looks at her and he goes back home and he has her image in his mind and he's intimate with his wife. When a man is intimate with his wife in purity, dear ladies, then there's in heaven also uh, uh, together, which means Hashem is connecting himself to the children of Israel. It's not only the intimate act that it's a physical act. It, uh, what we do over here influences heaven. This, it's very spiritual. So what happens is if he has an image of a woman, another woman in his mind, or the woman has an image of another man in her mind, it's like idolship because you're bringing to the holiest of holiest, Beit HaMikdash, the temple, the holiest of holiest, like you're bringing to the holiest of holiest idol and putting inside there. What happens to the woman that he thought about? The woman that walked on the street, she gets 50% of his sin. That's what the Zohar Kadosh says, 50% of his sin by just walking in the street. So we don't need, we, we do it alone. We have enough of our own that we don't listen to Hashem. We don't need the sins of others. So one way to eliminate this is to walk modestly outside. Even with a shaitel, and I gave shurim about this, with a wig, I, I told you, when you go outside with a wig, it should be short, and uh, Rabbi Ovadia Yosef says, if this is what you want to do, at least put a hat on it, Bereshut Arabim. When you're outside, in Bereshut Arabim. But dear ladies, again, for your husband, you should be beautiful. Usually we are shmatas for our husbands at home, but we are models outside. You understand? You understood what I said? Yeah. Usually we're just like a, a rag at home for our husbands, <coughs> but when you go outside, we are all models. Dear ladies, again I'm telling you, please take it to your hearts. If we don't do tshuva now, when are we going to do tshuva? Don't you see what's going on in the world? Don't you see that all the world is on fire? That it's only a matter of time when the fire spreads all over Bavat Achat? And then Mi Atzilenu. And I'm reminding you that Hashem says, Like the days that I took you out of Egypt, I will show you now. Which means that four-fifths of the Israelites did not go out of Egypt. Which means, that four-fifths of the Jewish people will not go out of exile, they will be killed. And millions and, and, and millions of human beings will be killed all over the world. If we won't repent now, there's no, don't think about tomorrow, do it now. We have a schut, every day is a day of repentance. Hashem wakes us up, every day is a new sheet. Abraham zaken babayamim. And Abraham is old and he came with all of the days. He came with a book with each day. Today is the 30th of Ab. So this is what I did all day. 
And this tomorrow is going to be the first day of Elul. This is what I did all day. This is the mitzvot. When I wake up in the morning, I ask Hashem, please, do, see that this day I'll do mitzvot. I will have good deeds and, and kind things that I will do. I ask from Hashem, and Hashem delivers the mitzvot. Because the only thing that we are going to go up there, it says, Ela, in Masachat Avot, Ela shebishat p'tirato shel adam, when a person passes away, en malvin lo la adam, he doesn't get, the person doesn't get, lo kesef, no money, lo zahav, no gold, ve lo avanim tavot, and not precious stones, you come to heaven only with Torah that you studied, that you came to this shurim. Now you're writing, anybody, give me please your notebook. You're writing during the shiur, an angel brings it in front of Hashem. Don't you think that you're writing, please, that's why I'm telling you, write it in a notebook. Because what you write is in front, the angel comes and sees. He says to Hashem, look what your daughter did. Not only she came at night to hear a, a shiur, and she was sitting down and writing Ben Porat Yosef. And, she, and this is also a big angel that is created from this, just from writing everything, just from taking all the notes and putting in the notebook and stapling it inside so you'll know every, every month of Elul, this is what we need to do. Besiata Dishmaya. So dear ladies, Nothing is taken, we are not taking with us. There's no bakshish in the true world. We can't pay bribe in the true world. The bakshish. We can't pay anything. No passing envelopes. No passing envelopes in the true world. The only thing we can show is the good deeds that we did and the Torah that we studied and the commandments that we followed. So look, so I'm asking you, do we have a freedom of choice? Dear ladies, the truth is we don't have any choice because it's written in Parashat Re'eh. I want you to see and just to take it to your hearts because it's very important. The blessing, we can choose. Re'eh Anuchi noten ifnechem ayom bracha. Blessing. And the blessing is if we listen to Hashem hayom every day. Every day is a new reality. Ba'avraham zaken baba bayamim. Every day. Vaklala, and the curse, dear ladies, look at the curse. Im lo tishmeu el mitzvot Hashem elokechem. If you won't listen to Hashem, v'sartem in aderech Hashem anochi metzavet chem hayom, and you will not, won't follow the way that I command you today, which means every day now today. So, dear ladies, who wants to choose death? Kiklala ze mavet. Death in this world, Zemavit. Vebracha is chaim, is life. Because a person who doesn't follow the ways of Hashem, he's considered dead in this world. Reshaim kuim etim. Why is he considered dead? Because, dear ladies, because all of we have, I told you that the difference between us and the nations, we are the firstborns of Hashem. And I would, would like to tell you something, because it's really very exciting. Please pay attention to what I'm saying now. There was a, a boy that came to me. A, 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 he wants to get married, and he wants to get married to a woman that is not Jewish. Mm -hmm. So his mother brought him to me, and I was speaking to him. And he said, but even if she converts, uh, she will stay the same person. She, uh, what change will be on her? I said, physically, she, she looks the same. But spiritually, she's not the same person. And why? Because, dear ladies, the children of Israel received from Hashem all parts of the neshama, of the soul, all parts of the soul. The nations have only the part of action, of asiyah, nefesh asiyah, but not the children of Israel. Why? Because we are the firstborn and we have 620 mitzvot, commandments. We have 613 from the Torah and seven mitzvot, the Rabbanan, from our sages, together 620 keter, as the, the numerical value of a crown. And why is that? Because Hashem said, Bereshit bara Elohim, in the beginning I created, and I created Bereshit, the Torah, and I created the children of Israel to study my Torah. In order that we will understand the Torah, the written and the oral Torah, Hashem gave us more parts of the Neshama. So a person that converts, 
בסייעתא דשמיא, but truly converts, wants Hashem with him, בעזרת נוקלייט ערב רב, that went out of Egypt because they were afraid of Hashem, but wants really to be Jewish, then Hashem adds to his soul all the parts that the, the, that the nations don't have. And he becomes a new creation. He becomes like a baby that came now out of the womb of his mother. That's why he goes to the mikveh. And the mikveh has 40, 40 amount of water. Why? Like the 40 days that the fetus is in the womb of his father. On the 30, 41 day, he's already a human being. So that's why, that's why you dip yourself in the mikveh, and then when you go out, it's mamash. And I can tell you, and I can tell you that I, Besiata Dishmaya, there was a, um, a boy and a, a girl, she was Spanish, and she wanted to convert, and she got married to a Jewish boy. And you have it to remember, and Hashem gave me this chut and my sister, because our parents couldn't take her to the chuppah. Now I knew her before, and I have to he, I have to heal him in my hand, and I have to tell you, if I didn't see it with our, my own eyes, I would say, oh, okay. But I saw it. I know the girl before she was Jewish, and I saw the girl after she became Jewish, and I said, Hashem, Marabuma, Sech Hashem, and there's no words. No words to express what I felt from this girl before she was Jewish and after she became Jewish. You can see a new creation. The tartei mashma new creation. I'm telling you, I, I, we, we took her to the chupa because her parents are now not considered. She's like a newborn. They are not her parents. They are biological parents, but they are not her parents now. So the, she needs a Jewish person to, to escort her to the chupa. And I'm telling you, it's not the same person. Hashem, it, you feel it, the holiness that comes into a uh, other person. So now she can understand and study the Torah. It's like in Tha Thailand, I think, that they want to study the Gemara. So in, uh, in Japan, I don't remember exactly. In Asia, they want to study the Gemara, and they, and they translate it, and they do study. But they don't understand that in order to study the oral Torah or the written Torah, in order to understand it like Hashem wants you to understand it, you have to be circumcised. You have to go into the mikveh and be Jewish. Because this is, that's what Hashem said, only the ones that are circ like eating from Korban Pesach, from the um, sacrifice of pa Passover. You cannot eat if you are not, not circumcised. Because Hashem said, only the ones that are circumcised, the way Hashem wants, not like the Muslims, but the way Hashem wants, they are circumcised at the age of 13, but they don't do the whole circumcision. The law, the mila ve priya, we do mila ve priya, otherwise it's not considered circumcised. But dear ladies, only the ones that go follow what Hashem wants, the Jewish people, so Hashem gives them more parts of the neshama, of the soul, in order to have the wisdom of Hashem. That's what Hashem did. And why? It's not because that He doesn't love the nations. Hashem loves all of His creation. And we know that because on Yom HaKippurim, Hashem gives us to read on Mincha, Yom HaKippurim, the holiest day of the Jewish people, that we fast, we are just like angels, in order that Hashem will seal us in the Book of Life. There in Mincha, we read the Book of Yonah, the Book of Yonah the Prophet, and over there Hashem tells him, go to Ninveh, Ninveh is the city of the nations. It's not Jewish people. In order that the nations will know that Hashem loves all of His creation, but he wants them to do seven mitzvot, seven commandments, the seven commandments of Noah and the children of Israel, 620. It's a big obligation. It's not, it's not mashukal. It's a big obligation to accept upon ourselves all of the mitzvot. But once we do, we are the sons and daughters of a king. But the children of Israel that were born Jewish, we do not have any, any choice. This is our essence. This is who we are. We can't look at the nation and say, okay, they don't cover themselves. We also will not got notes mute. We can't do that because this is who we are. This is our essence. If we do that, then we don't have a blessing. We have chas v'shalom a curse. And people say, of course, but look, they have money. They have... It's only payment in this world, in orderly paramen ba'olam haba, because you, there's din ve'dayan, there's a judge to this world. 
how, there's an eye that sees, an ear that listen, listens, and everything is written, all of your actions in a book. And what will you say to Hashem when we stand over there? What, what will we say to Him? Hashem, well, I wanted to do tshuva, but you know, my friends and this and this, and I, no, it won't, nobody will want to listen. There's only one truth in the whole world, and the truth is what Hashem wants. There's nothing, there's nothing else. There's no relative truth. Re there's no relative truth. Truth, Hashem wrote in the beginning, Bereshit bara Elokim. The end letters is Bereshit ends with Taf, bara ends with Aleph, Elokim with Mem. Together it's Emet. Emet is the truth. The truth is the seal of Hashem, which is what Hashem wants. This is the truth. You want to do what Hashem says or what Ralph Florence says? Exactly. <laughs> so, dear ladies, we cannot imitate the goyim. We need, to, we need to follow what Hashem told us to follow. And then we are blessed. We see that in Shema Yisrael, we say that twice a day. It says, Today again, and all of the things that I'm commanding you today, put it to your heart. I'm Hashem, I'm speaking to you, I love you, I give you every day another chance to do tshuva. I want you to be in paradise. I want you to fulfill your, your, your task in this world. And then we continue, Vayayim Shamoat Ishmeu, and again, if you listen to me in Shema Yisrael, El Mitzvotai, to my commandments, Asher Anuchim Etzavetchem, that I command you, Hayom, today, Today, every day is a new day. Every day is a chance to do tshuva. Every day, dear ladies. The Katuv, dear ladies, the Parashat Vait Hanan. Not only with our forefathers, Hashem made this treaty, all the commandments. But with us also, until this day, until the end of days. Elepo, that is here today, Hayom. Pay attention, Hayom. He says, Kulanu Chaim, if we will choose Besiat Adishmaya, and this is no choice. It's only, if we do what Hashem wants us to do, we are, we are free. We are free human beings. If we think that we are free when we dress not modestly or not keep Shabbat or, or do things that Hashem doesn't want us to do, we are very mistaken. We are not free. We are slaves, slaves to the evil inclination, which is a slave to Hashem. We are a slave of a slave. You understand? We are just fooling ourselves. And if, dear ladies, and if Besiata Dishmaya, we do keep Shabbat. And we do go with the Kisui Rosh, we cover our head, and we do go modest. Then we need to check our characteristics and see that chas shalom, we do not judge anybody. Because we don't know the merit of each person, even a person that goes with piercing in his face. We don't know, you know, Rav Lassi once said in one of his lectures that he, the, um, a person that came to him, a young man, he came to him with a piercing in his face and he said, well, you know, when you see a person live, you don't think that he does something that is connected to Hashem. And then while he was speaking to him, he heard that this person is paying money for a holy yeshiva. He keeps a holy yeshiva. Yeshiva shlema umemamenota. So dear ladies, nobody knows what merit each one of us has. So chas shalom, do not judge. Remember, the way you judge others is the way Hashem is going to judge you on the big judgment day on Rosh Hashanah. And over there, three books are open. The book of life, the book of death, and the book of intermediate. So besiyat adishmaya, dear ladies, there's no really freedom of choice. We as the Israelites and the nation as nations, they have to follow the way of Hashem and they have to keep the seven commandments of Noah. And we have to keep the commandments that Hashem Idbarach gave to the children of Israel. So Besiyat Adishmaya, remember, Hashem is waiting for tshuva and everybody is going to be judged for all of the times. You remember the path that I told you? We're going in a certain path. 
that Hashem gave you, maybe an angel with the clothing of a human being, just come to tell you to do tshuva. Even it can be a non-Jewish person that will come and remind you, no, there's a synagogue over here. Or a rabbi that gave you, 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 you received the disc, or you heard a shiur. All of these is the gates to go out and to do tshuva. It's the gates of the letter He of tshuva. All of this is a shame giving you the opportunity to do tshuva. But if you continue, if, if we continue in the way and don't do tshuva, we are going straight down. Zechet, sin. Straight down. Hashem said to the letter Chet and, and told her, open a gate that somebody, that, the, that people can do tshuva. So it opened over here. And this became a hay. In order to do bas tshuva, this is the hay, tashuv hay. Tashuv hay, repent the hay. The hay of Hashem. מה? כן, אבל הקדוש ברוך הוא גער באות חט, יש את זה בפרק בתהילים ס"ח, הוא גער באות חט, כי כשהוא ברא הוא ברא את הכל בבת אחת. Dear ladies, when Hashem speaks, he doesn't speak like us, a word after word. When he gave the Torah, the whole, everything that he spoke was heard בבת אחת. אין אצל הקדוש ברוך הוא לפנים ואחור, לנו יש זמן, אז יש עבר, הווה ועתיד. We have time, we are limited in time, time and space. Because this is, uh, this, this is the creation. But Hashem doesn't have limitations. When He speaks, everything is created right now. He doesn't need to do one after the other. Nachon, He created the world for us. In ten speeches, Hashem created the world because He said for the wicked people that are going to ruin the world, so at least the righteous people can build back the world in ten speeches. Zerak bishvilenu, people that are limited, us as human beings, but not for, my, for Hashem. Hashem, and I would like to remind you that Hashem sees everything. Will I be here, will somebody hide somewhere and I will not see him? I would like with these words to tell you, Bestiata Dishmaya, I know it's a long day. Mesiyata Dishmaya, may Hashem give us the schut to repent. We need to have a schut to repent. May Hashem bless all of us, Bezrat Hashem, to greet Mashiach Tzitkenu Mimra B'Yamenu, Amen. And Mesiyata Dishmaya, Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov, L'Olam Imperad Adam Mechavaro B'Dvar Alakha, Yachid Barabim Alakha Kerabim. And Mesiyata Dishmaya, I love Hashem and I love all of you, Mesiyata Dishmaya.